You won't believe it. These ancient bridges were built without modern technology, yet they're still standing today. How were these ancient bridges constructed without advanced tools or modern civil engineering? Across the world, stunning ancient bridges like the Arcadico Bridge in Greece, built over 3,000 years ago, continue to amaze us. Made entirely of stone without cement or modern equipment, this bridge remains standing strong to this day. How did ancient civilizations fit these stones together with such precision? Scientists are still baffled by the advanced construction techniques achieved in the past without heavy machinery or modern technology. Have we underestimated the ingenuity of our ancestors? Bridges have been an integral part of human history for thousands of years, facilitating transportation and trade across rivers, valleys, and other natural obstacles. From simple wooden bridges to intricate suspension bridges, the evolution of bridge design showcases humanity's remarkable innovation and engineering prowess. Even in history, there are several ancient bridges constructed without modern technology that continue to leave experts in awe while remaining shrouded in mystery. As one of the oldest civilizations on Earth, Greece will forever be synonymous with the word ancient. From philosophy to culture, city structures, and especially architecture, Greece remains a central figure in world history. And when it comes to ancient bridges, we travel to the Peloponnese region of Greece. Here lies the Arcadico Bridge, one of the oldest known bridges still in existence. This relic of ancient Greece is found in a small ravine near a modern road between Tyrans and Epidaurus in Argolis, Peloponnese. The bridge was constructed between 1300 and 1190 BCE, during the Bronze Age by the Mycenaean civilization, making it one of the oldest arched bridges still in use today. The Arcadico Bridge was built using Cyclopean masonry, a technique involving large limestone boulders, smaller stones, and pieces of tile that were tightly fitted together without any mortar. It spans approximately 72 feet long, 18 feet wide, and rises 13 feet high. Archaeologists believe the bridge was part of a military road connecting the cities of Tyrans and Epidaurus as part of a broader Mycenaean road network. The sophisticated layout and the alignment of the bridge suggest that it was used by chariots. Experts are still impressed by the engineering of this structure, marveling at how large stones were arranged to create a stable arch that has allowed horse and chariot traffic for over 3,000 years. Its longevity is a testament to the remarkable strength and resilience of Mycenaean construction techniques. From Greece, let's journey to Britain, a land renowned for its iconic bridges. Think of Tower Bridge, Millennium Bridge, London Bridge, or the elegant Westminster Bridge. Among the many modern and postmodern bridges standing tall across the UK, there is one unique and fascinating bridge that falls into the category of ancient, the Tar Steps. This ancient clapper bridge is located on the River Barl in Exmoor National Park, Somerset, England. While it may not look like a typical ancient structure, the Tar Steps is an impressive construction of massive stone slabs arranged without any binding agents. The exact origins of the Tar Steps remain unclear, but it is believed to date back to prehistoric times, with some estimates suggesting it was built around 1000 BCE. What makes the Tar Steps particularly intriguing is its simple yet ingenious design. The massive stone slabs, some weighing up to two tons each, are balanced and arranged to create a stable path across the river. The bridge, which stretches roughly 180 feet across the river, is a prime example of early human engineering and demonstrates a deep understanding of weight distribution and structural stability without the use of modern tools.
From the lands of Europe, let's now shift to Asia, the largest continent on Earth, home to over 4.7 billion people and a treasure trove of ancient civilizations. Nestled in the waters between India and Sri Lanka lies an extraordinary and controversial bridge that has puzzled and fascinated the world. Known as the Diwa Rama Bridge, or Adams Bridge, this formation stands apart from typical ancient bridges. It is a natural chain of rock formations and sandbanks stretching across the Polk Strait, forming a 30-mile link between the two nations. But what makes it so controversial? This bridge is said to have been a former land bridge. The key word here is former, with many theories suggesting that it was once a functional crossing. According to Hindu mythology, this bridge is linked to the epic Ramayana, in which it was constructed by Lord Rama with the help of an army of monkeys to cross into Sri Lanka. Local beliefs strongly maintain that this was a man-made structure, despite the debate over whether it is purely natural or human-built. Modern studies have suggested that parts of Adam's Bridge may indeed have been used as a crossing in ancient times. Beyond the mythical narratives, scientific theories propose that the Polk Strait and the Gulf of Manor were once part of the Cavalry River Basin. Over millennia of tectonic movement, this natural bridge formation developed. The specific geological features of the area, including coral growth, added to its appearance as a possible bridge. What do you think? Was this ancient bridge a natural wonder or a creation of human ingenuity? In the high mountains of Shahara, located in Yemen, lies an ancient and awe-inspiring bridge known as the Shahara Bridge. Perched dramatically over a deep gorge, this bridge connects two villages in the Shahara district of the Amran Governorate in northern Yemen. Constructed in the 17th century by Usta Saleh al-Sudi, a local leader, the bridge was built as a defensive measure against the Ottoman Empire. While at first glance this stone arch bridge may not seem particularly extraordinary, its history and construction defy the imagination. Built entirely from large stone blocks without the aid of modern technology, the bridge was constructed in one of the most challenging and dangerous terrains, the Shahara Mountains. Measuring about 65 feet in length and 10 feet in width, the bridge is made from locally sourced limestone the most abundant material in the region. What is particularly astounding is the technique used to construct the stone arch bridge over such a steep ravine, especially considering the isolation and harshness of the mountainous region. After exploring ancient Greece, Britain, and India, let's now turn our attention to the heart of Europe, specifically Germany. Bavaria is not only one of the most influential regions in Europe, but also carries traces of ancient Roman civilization. One such trace is linked to the historic Rhine River, where Julius Caesar allegedly built a wooden bridge during the Gallic Wars in 55 BC. Caesar's intent was to cross into the territory of the Germanic tribes, specifically the Gauls, known for their fierce resistance. But what stands out about this bridge, known as Caesar's Rhine Bridge, is its construction, using wood combined with large stones or concrete for the foundation. Concrete, as we know, was used by the Romans in many of their construction projects, and they skillfully combined it with stone to create durable structures. What's fascinating about Caesar's Bridge is that it was built in just 10 days, stretching about 1 to 300 feet across the Rhine River. After crossing, the Romans dismantled the bridge within a few days, showcasing the efficiency and speed of Roman engineering. Though historians debate the exact location of this bridge, archaeological excavations near Andernach and Nuviad suggest possible remains of Caesar's construction. Another potential site is thought to be just south of Bonn. Regardless of the exact location, this bridge serves as an impressive testament to Roman engineering, with the use of large stones as a stable foundation to withstand the Rhine's strong currents. 
an innovation that highlights the Romans' mastery in bridge building, even if much of the structure was wooden. The Romans are well known for their revolutionary bridge building techniques, particularly their introduction of the semicircular arch, which became a hallmark of their engineering from around 500 to 600 BC. Many Roman bridges have withstood the test of time, remaining functional even after more than 2,000 years. The Alcantara Bridge, built over the Tagus River in Spain, is one of the finest examples of Roman bridge construction. Completed around 103 AD, this stone bridge, constructed without mortar, remains in use today, even supporting modern road traffic. Remarkably, the Alcantara Bridge has been damaged and rebuilt several times over the centuries, mainly due to war rather than natural forces. It features six massive semicircular granite arches with the largest spanning about 94 feet. The bridge stretches 594 feet in total length, and its deck stands 203 feet above the river below. This bridge is a prime example of Roman ingenuity, using massive stone blocks to create an arch-based structure capable of enduring the centuries. Even with minimal resources compared to today's technology, the Romans demonstrated their expertise in creating resilient, long-lasting bridges that continue to inspire awe and admiration in modern engineers. It's nearly impossible to deny the sheer brilliance and magnitude of Roman engineering when you consider their impressive constructions. One of the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring of these ancient works is the Trilithon of Baalbek, located in Lebanon. Known for its colossal stone blocks, Baalbek remains an architectural wonder, and the site features some of the largest stones ever used in construction, particularly in the Temple of Jupiter, one of the most monumental stone buildings in the world. The term trilithon refers to a structure composed of three massive stones, two vertical pillars supporting a horizontal stone across the top. This type of construction is not only seen in the temple itself, but is also believed to have been used in the roads and bridges that connected Baalbek's stone quarries to the Temple of Jupiter. These stones are extraordinary in size and weight, some individual blocks weigh up to a staggering 1.7 million pounds. What has baffled scientists and archaeologists for decades is how the ancient builders managed to quarry, transport, and position these stones with such precision, all without the aid of modern machinery. The methods used to move these megaliths remain a subject of ongoing research, and the mystery of Baalbek continues to intrigue historians and engineers alike. While we have some theories, the exact techniques employed by the Romans and potentially earlier civilizations to move these gargantuan stones remain one of the greatest unsolved engineering puzzles in human history. Baalbek stands as a testament to the extraordinary feats that ancient civilizations were able to achieve, and its enduring mystery captivates all who study it.